The Shadows Collector Chapter 1 Shadows of the City The city stirred with an uneasy energy, like a beast disturbed from its slumber by the lingering shadows of the night. Detective Michael Stone felt the weight of the city's unrest pressing down on him as he navigated the bustling streets of New York City. With each step, he was acutely aware of the whispers that danced on the edges of his consciousness, whispers of fear and uncertainty that seemed to seep from the very pores of the metropolis. As he made his way through the labyrinthine streets, Michael couldn't shake the feeling that something dark and ominous was lurking just beyond the city's shimmering facade. It was a feeling he had grown accustomed to in his years as a detective, a sixth sense that had saved his life more times than he could count. But tonight, the feeling was different. Tonight, there was a tangible sense of danger in the air, a feeling that the city itself was on edge, as if it were holding its breath in anticipation of what was to come. It was amidst this atmosphere of unease that Michael received the call that would change everything. A body had been found in the heart of the city, its shadow missing as if torn from its very soul. It was a bizarre and unsettling crime, one that sent a chill down Michael's spine as he raced to the scene. Arriving at the scene, Michael was met with a sight that would haunt him for years to come. The victim lay sprawled on the pavement, their lifeless eyes staring blankly into the night sky. But it was not the sight of the body that sent a shiver down Michael's spine, it was the absence of the shadow, a dark void that seemed to swallow the very essence of the victim's being. With a sense of unease settling in the pit of his stomach, Michael set to work, his keen eyes scanning the scene for any clues that might shed light on the mystery before him. But the streets offered little in the way of answers, their secrets hidden beneath layers of concrete and steel. As he questioned witnesses and examined the evidence, Michael couldn't shake the feeling that there was more to this case than met the eye. The missing shadow was not just a coincidence, it was a clue, a piece of a puzzle that he was determined to solve. With each passing moment, the city seemed to close in around him, its towering skyscrapers casting long shadows that danced in the flickering glow of the streetlights. But Michael refused to be intimidated. He knew that the key to unraveling the mystery lay somewhere in the heart of the city, and he was determined to find it, no matter the cost. As the night wore on and the city slept, Michael found himself drawn deeper into the darkness that lurked within its streets. With each new lead he uncovered, he felt a sense of anticipation building within him, a feeling that he was on the verge of a discovery that would change everything. But little did he know that the shadows that haunted the city were not just figments of his imagination. They were a harbinger of something far more sinister, something that would test his courage and resilience to its limits. As Michael delved deeper into the mystery of the missing shadows, he soon realized that he was not just hunting a killer. He was hunting a shadow, a shadow that lurked in the darkest corners of the city, waiting to strike when least expected. And as he prepared to confront this unseen foe, Michael knew that the true battle had only just begun. For the shadows that haunted the city were not just a threat to its citizens, they were a threat to everything he held dear. And if he was to emerge victorious, he would need to confront the darkness within himself as well. Chapter 2 Haunted Castles and Hidden Passages the investigation into the bizarre shadow crimes had taken Detective Michael Stone far beyond the confines of New York City. From the towering skyscrapers of Manhattan to the ancient castles of Europe, he followed the trail of darkness in search of answers that seemed to elude him at every turn. 
His journey led him to the fog-shrouded streets of London where the shadows danced in the flickering glow of gas lamps. It was here, amidst the winding alleyways and hidden passages of the city, that Michael encountered the first clue that would lead him on his next leg of the investigation. A local historian had uncovered a series of ancient manuscripts detailing a string of unsolved murders dating back centuries. Each victim had been found with their shadow missing, much like the recent crimes that had plagued New York City. Could it be that the shadow crimes were not a recent phenomenon, but rather a dark legacy that had been passed down through the ages? Determined to uncover the truth, Michael delved deeper into the history of the shadow crimes, scouring the archives for any information that might shed light on the mystery. But the answers remained elusive, hidden behind layers of time and secrecy. It was during his research that Michael received a tip from an unlikely source, a reclusive scholar who claimed to possess knowledge of an ancient order that had once hunted creatures of darkness. Intrigued by the possibility of finding answers, Michael sought out the scholar, hoping that he might hold the key to unraveling the enigma of the shadow crimes. The scholar lived in a ramshackle cottage on the outskirts of the city, its windows boarded up against the prying eyes of the outside world. Inside, the air was heavy with the scent of old books and dust, a testament to the scholar's solitary existence. As Michael entered the cottage, he was met with a sight that sent a chill down his spine. The walls were adorned with ancient tomes and arcane artifacts, each one a relic of a bygone era. But it was not the artifacts themselves that caught Michael's eye. It was the sense of foreboding that seemed to hang in the air like a shroud. The scholar greeted Michael with a knowing smile, his eyes gleaming with a wisdom that seemed far beyond his years. Ah, Detective Stone, he said, his voice low and gravelly. I've been expecting you. Michael's curiosity was piqued. You have information on the shadow crimes? He asked, his voice eager with anticipation. The scholar nodded, his expression grave. Indeed I do, he replied. But the truth you seek is not for the faint of heart. It is a tale of darkness and despair, a tale that has haunted mankind since the dawn of time. As the scholar spoke, Michael felt a sense of unease settling over him. He knew that he was on the verge of uncovering secrets that were best left buried, but his thirst for answers drove him forward. And so, as the night wore on and the shadows danced around them, the scholar revealed the truth behind the shadow crimes, a truth that would change everything Michael thought he knew about the world and his place in it. But as Michael delved deeper into the darkness, he realized that the answers he sought were not just hidden in the pages of ancient manuscripts or whispered in the shadows of forgotten alleys. They were buried deep within himself, waiting to be uncovered by the light of truth. With a newfound sense of purpose, Michael set out once more on his journey, his resolve unwavering in the face of adversity. For he knew that the shadows that haunted the city were not just a threat to its citizens, they were a threat to everything he held dear. And as he ventured deeper into the heart of darkness, he knew that the true battle had only just begun. For the shadows that lurked in the hidden passages and haunted castles were not just a symbol of fear and uncertainty, they were a reminder that even in the darkest of times, the light of hope still burned bright. Chapter 3 Unraveling the Enigma Detective Michael Stone's quest to uncover the truth behind the shadow crimes had led him on a journey through the darkest corners of the world. 
From the fog-shrouded streets of London to the sun-baked alleys of Rome, he followed the trail of darkness in search of answers that seemed to slip through his fingers like shadows in the night. But as he delved deeper into the mystery, Michael realized that the key to unraveling the enigma of the shadow crimes lay not just in the physical world, but in the realms of the supernatural as well. It was a realization that sent a chill down his spine, for he knew that he was treading on dangerous ground. His investigation led him to the catacombs beneath Paris, a sprawling labyrinth of tunnels and chambers that stretched for miles beneath the city's streets. It was here, amidst the bones of the dead and the echoes of centuries past, that Michael encountered the first clues that would lead him closer to the truth. Michael experienced a wave of anxiety as he traversed the dimly lit hallways. The smell of rot permeated the air, and the shadows seemed to have a life of their own, dancing and twisting. Still, he persisted, driven by a need to learn the secrets that lay beyond the surface. It was amidst the catacombs that Michael encountered the first whispers of a dark and ancient power, a power that had been lurking in the shadows since time immemorial. He knew that he was treading on dangerous ground, for the forces he was dealing with were beyond his comprehension. But Michael refused to be intimidated. With each new clue he uncovered, he felt a sense of excitement building within him, a feeling that he was on the verge of a discovery that would change everything. For he knew that the answers he sought lay somewhere in the darkness, waiting to be uncovered by the light of truth. As he ventured deeper into the catacombs, Michael encountered strange symbols and arcane artifacts that seemed to pulse with a dark and malevolent energy. It was as if the very walls themselves were alive with a sense of foreboding, warning him to turn back before it was too late. But Michael pressed on, his resolve unwavering in the face of adversity. For he knew that the key to unraveling the mystery of the shadow crimes lay hidden somewhere in the depths of the catacombs, waiting to be uncovered by those brave enough to seek it. And then, Finally, he found what he had been searching for, a hidden chamber deep within the bowels of the catacombs, its walls adorned with strange symbols and arcane writings. As he stepped into the chamber, Michael felt a sense of trepidation wash over him, for he knew that he was standing on the threshold of something far greater than himself. But he was not alone. Waiting for him in the darkness was a figure cloaked in shadow, their eyes gleaming with a malevolent light as they watched his every move. With a silent nod to his allies, Michael prepared to confront his adversary, his heart pounding with anticipation. For he knew that the final showdown was about to begin, and that the fate of the world hung in the balance. And as he squared off against his foe in a battle that would test his courage and resolve to its limits, Michael knew that he would not back down until the truth had been revealed and justice had been served. Chapter 4 Confronting the Shadows As Detective Michael Stone stood face to face with the shadowy figure in the hidden chamber deep within the catacombs, a tense silence enveloped the air, broken only by the faint sound of his racing heartbeat. The figure before him exuded an aura of darkness and malevolence that sent shivers down his spine, but Michael refused to let fear cloud his judgment. With a steely resolve burning bright within him, he prepared to confront his adversary head-on, knowing that the final showdown would test his courage and resilience to its limits. With a sudden burst of movement, the shadowy figure lunged forward, their movements swift and fluid as they attacked with ruthless precision. Michael's senses were on high alert as he dodged and weaved, his instincts guiding him through the darkness as he sought to outmaneuver his adversary. The chamber erupted into chaos as the two adversaries clashed, 
each blow echoing like thunder in the confined space. Michael fought with a fierce determination, his fists flying as he exchanged blows with the shadowy figure. But despite his best efforts, he found himself pushed to his limits by the relentless onslaught. As the battle raged on, Michael's mind raced with thoughts of his allies, who stood by his side, their unwavering support lending him strength in the face of adversity. With each passing moment, he drew upon their courage and resilience, determined to emerge victorious in the struggle against the darkness that threatened to consume them all. But just as victory seemed within their grasp, the shadowy figure unleashed a powerful blast of energy that sent Michael and his allies reeling. The chamber shook with the force of the explosion, sending debris flying in all directions. As Michael struggled to regain his footing, he felt a surge of determination coursing through his veins. With a fierce cry, he rallied his allies to his side, their spirits unbroken despite the pain and chaos that surrounded them. Together, they launched a coordinated counterattack, their movements fluid and precise as they sought to outmaneuver their adversary. With each blow landed, they felt a sense of satisfaction building within them, a feeling that they were gaining the upper hand in the battle that raged around them. But just as they prepared to deliver the final blow, the shadowy figure unleashed a dark and powerful force that sent them tumbling to the ground. As they struggled to regain their footing, Michael realized that their adversary possessed powers beyond anything they had ever faced before. Michael felt his heart drop to the floor because he knew they were outmatched. Despite the tremendous odds, he remained steadfast in his determination and did not give up hope. Knowing that the fate of the world rested on his shoulders, he gave a secret nod to his companions and readied himself to make one last stand. As the shadowy figure advanced, Michael and his allies launched themselves into the fray, their hearts filled with courage and determination. With each blow landed, they felt a sense of satisfaction building within them, a feeling that they were holding their own against the darkness that threatened to consume them. But as the battle raged on, Michael realized that their adversary was toying with them, toying with their emotions and their fears. With a sinking feeling in the pit of his stomach, he knew that they needed to find a way to turn the tide of the battle in their favor. With a sudden burst of inspiration, Michael realized that their adversary's strength lay not just in their physical prowess, but in their ability to manipulate the shadows themselves. Armed with this newfound knowledge, he rallied his allies to his side, their determination unyielding in the face of adversity. Together, they launched a coordinated assault, their movements swift and precise as they sought to outmaneuver their adversary. With each blow landed, they felt a sense of satisfaction building within them, a feeling that they were gaining the upper hand in the battle that raged around them. And then, finally, with a final, decisive blow, Michael and his allies emerged victorious. The shadowy figure let out a cry of defeat as they dissipated into the darkness, their power broken and their reign of terror ended. As Michael and his allies emerged from the hidden chamber, they knew that their battle was far from over. But with courage and determination, they would face whatever challenges lay ahead, ready to confront the darkness and bring light to the shadows once more. Please watch the other videos from our playlists. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep updated with new captivating mysteries.